province. We can now take you to Tamale in the northern region where our correspondent Marty Nabugri joins us with the story of a community constructing their own chips compound. Martina, tell us a bit more. Um, this community is known as Tarpa. It's in the Savilugu municipality. Um, World Vision, through an initiative uh, in this community, established the Community Health Committee. Now, this community the uh, health committee's mandate was to liaise between the health center and then the community. But the people, the committee has moved beyond just doing that into um, other projects that is bringing benefits or development to the community. And one is the chips compound they are currently building. What I gather from the assemblyman and some of the community members were that they raised their own funds and they built the chips compound to the uh, roofing stage. And so what they are right now asking for is support to be able to um, roof the uh, compound and then open it out for health delivery. Right. Well, it seems they've gone quite a, a distance on their own. Um, what is um, the authority seeking to do to support? Well, from the assemblyman, he said the politicians are not serious. And so they have had to do it on their own. They don't want to rely solely on, on government, and then they will not have it done. And so they are hoping that uh, benevolent organizations and uh, concerned citizens of the area would support so that they can finish the project. Martina, tell us why is this project so important to the community? What's, what's the state of health in that community and what difference will this CHIPS compound make? Now, when the CHIPS compound system was introduced, there are three communities. They didn't have health service. And so anytime you needed to attend to hospital, you needed to go to um, the Savilgu Health Center. So these communities thought that if they are able to build their own chips compound, then they will have health personnel in the area who would assist them. And so they built a smaller one, um, and that is where they have been operating from. But currently, the state is in bad shape. Um, is dilapidated and it poses a danger to people who come in and go out. And that is why they took the initiative to start a new one. Martina, thank you so much for that update. And, uh...